It's been a really, really long time since I've listened to another song by the band Deftone, so I definitely want to get back here and listen to another one tonight. And this is a song that a lot of you requested so long ago called Minerva, I think is how you pronounce that. And there's a music video here. I'm a huge fan of the vocalist voice, you guys already know. It's so amazing, so I'm hoping to get more of that in this song. And uh, I don't really know what to expect other than that, so let's just get right into it. Amazing. Dude, this is exactly what I had in my head before the song played. This is what I wanted. His voice is so freaking good. I love his voice. And I think it contrasts really well. The instrumental is a little bit on the heavy side, but his voice is just so soothing. And the notes are always so kind of drawn out. I don't know if they put a little reverb on it or anything, but it's just so soothing. I love his voice. Beautiful. I love how simple, maybe maybe it's not simple, it sounds simple to me. The instrumental is, it's kind of slow, it seems kind of simple, but it's just heavy hitting, and it's just letting his voice just resonate and just draw out, and I, I don't know. I, I, I love that. It sounds so nice. I love these moments too. Nice. Yeah. 
big. I love how it's picking up more and more and more as we're here in the second half. The instrumental seems kind of the same, but it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I love that. I'm also curious to know where they filmed this at. It's definitely an old video. It's like 12 years old on YouTube or something. Um, but these, the way that they're filming the sand dunes with the lighting makes it feel like you're on another planet. It's really interesting. I have like pitch bendy stuff going on too. It's another thing I noticed. That's nice. Super chill outro. Ooh. Give me another minute or two of that. That was a freaking banger. I love that. That was awesome. Alrighty guys, that was Deftones, song was Minerva, freaking love this one again, Chino never disappoints on the vocals, I love his voice, and I, again, like I said, I think it's just because the way that he sings, it's very drawn out, his notes are very long, it's very, it, it, it resonates, it just sounds so amazing, and here, in contrast to the instrumental, it was pretty kind of consistent, pretty, uh, I don't want to say simple as like a way to demean it by any means, but it was pretty uh, slow and it just really let his vocals just resonate and just be so much bigger. And then second half of the song comes in and the instrumental picked up. It was a little bit heavier, but his vocals were still pushed out there. He had a lot of crazy little pitch bendy effects and different things like that that I love. And it was just a really, really nice song to listen to. Uh, I did see some comments of people saying that I guess they just released a new album or something like that. I don't know if that's true, um, but if that's the case, and if I should check something more recent out that they've released, please let me know down below. I'm more than happy to do that. And yeah, you guys already know, if you're still here, if you're still watching, thank you so much, and I will see you on the next one.